Welcome to the Jenkins Governance Meeting. It's June the 30th, 2021. Um, thanks everyone for being here. Uli and Daniel, thanks very much. So topics that I had, news, keep it very brief. Daniel, I assume that you'll have something to share with us on news. Thanks very much for your heroism today. And then a brief on Jenkins funding update, just a status report, plug in end of life policy, summary or discussions from the developer list, discourse, any other topics that need to be added? Not for me. Okay. Then let's talk news first. And the biggest news is Jenkins 2.289.2 and 2.300 security releases were delivered today. Thanks it's very, very much, Daniel, for doing those. It also fixes security issues in three plugins. Very, very grateful for that. Anything that you wanted to share, Daniel, with regard to the security advisory? Uh, not particularly. Uh, the fixes are fairly straightforward. Um, there is one issue I sent an email to the developer list that one that due to infra issues this afternoon that we had to work around these two Jenkins releases as well as Sel Selenium HTML report plugin are not available in the releases repository uh, in our factory as they would usually be because that didn't work this afternoon and we had to um, I made I made the staging repository that we generally only use temporarily. I made that public, so I think nobody will be affected by this uh, because it's part of the virtual repository called public. Um, so as a dependency in plugins and such, it should just work. Uh, but there may be issues, and we will resolve that as soon as our factory behaves normally again. And additionally, um, I mentioned some of the repositories and workarounds we had to apply, and I would ask everyone to not rely on the continued presence of these workarounds just in case. And, and that makes sense. So your, your point there is that in order to handle uh, some challenges to, earlier today with infrastructure, you had to do something a little bit different, but temporary with the repository configuration. And eventually your intent is to go back to the standard repository configuration? Essentially, yes. Um, so the artifacts exist, they're just in a different repository than expected. But once we can move them over, we will. And these temporary repositories will go away. So nobody should be relying on them. More details about that are in my email to the developer list. Great, thank you very much, Daniel. And so let me make a note of that and I will include a link to the developer list for details of temporary, um, yeah, temporary artifact or temporary repository workaround. Yeah, very good, okay, thank you. Uh, other news, the Contributor Summit, we hosted the summit, the recordings have been posted to the playlist. I still have the action item to post a summary and a list of action items on community.jenkins.io. Uh, I will, I hope to do that within the next 24 hours uh, because it, the value of the information decreases the longer it goes outside of it. Excellent conversations around plug-in end of life, Java 11, uh, Jenkins X interoperability, cloud native, all sorts of good things. Google Summer of Code, we plan to have a, a CDF webinar for the week during the week of July 19. That's when July 16 is the end of phase one. And we're seeing great progress from all five of the Jenkins projects and look forward to six projects in the CDF webinar, including one from Spinnaker. Okay. And we've got that Oleg's taking a break in the Jenkins community, but will continue as the technical oversight committee representative and he'll continue mentoring one of the GSOC projects. Anything else that needs, welcome Randall, anything else that needs to be discussed on any of the news topics? Okay, then 
Jenkins funding updates, this one to give a brief summary, Jenkins Treasury has been hosted at, the, at Software in the Public Interest for many, many years. And uh, now that we're part of the Continuous Delivery Foundation, we can move those funds from SPI to CDF. Uh, the, it's in progress, but it will likely need to wait until Oleg returns. I don't, I'm not aware of anything that urgently needs us to move this without his help. And there are some stages and steps in it that will just be smoother if we, if we have Oleg's help to do it. Now, plug in end of life. So any, any comments or questions on funding updates? Okay. Plug in end of life policy was this is continuing to be discussed in the Google groups uh, in the developer list and it was discussed in depth in a session at the contributor track I encourage you to view that that or read the notes from that video and continue the discussions in the Google group. And then just by way of notes community.jenkins.io is up and running and as far as I can tell. We're getting some traffic to it that's letting us make things work there. We'll, I will post links from the Contributor Summit into it and encourage you to use it for conversations. Any other topics for today? Not for me. <laughs> that's cool. Now, now, Daniel, I did have, I know we've got the LFX Security 2 project running, or running is the wrong way to say it, under discussion, but I didn't have any status to share here. And so I intentionally did not put it on the agenda, just saying, look, we're, we're watching that thing evolve and we'll get involved with them as they continue to involve with us. Right, I have nothing new to share. I saw a thread scroll by, I think, yesterday or the day before with some updates, but I was busy preparing the security updates, so uh, I don't know the details yet. Right, and, and that's, that's mine as well. I need to, before we take any time in this meeting, I need to be sure I've reviewed it and thought about it. So as far as I can tell, we're set for this meeting. Thank you very much for being here. Thank I'll you most recording. Thanks everybody. Bye and enjoy okay. the week. Yeah, bye bye. bye, -bye.